everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me. Well, it's December 1st, and that means Simon Says Stamp has their annual December event. And today I get to share a project with you using a couple of the new die sets that are part of the brand new release. So we're going to create a card using the Wish Big die set. This has the Wish Big greeting, and then there is a shadow that goes with it. And then we'll also be using the Standing Whirl Bird. Um, I love, I've been loving birds on cards, and I thought this bird was super cute because of, there's um, the detail on here is really, really fun. So we're gonna create a Wish Big card with a bird on it. <laughs> we're gonna jump in and do a little bit of die cutting. We're gonna start by taking our Standing Whirl Bird. This is a three-piece die set. And we're gonna take some bright colored cardstock. And I'll, I'm gonna cut out five birds with these five colors. And we're gonna mix and match um, the legs and the wings and the bird body with all five of these colors. And then with our Wish Big Greeting, I'm going to take the wish bag and die cut this out with black cardstock. And then we're going to stack a couple wish bigs with white. So we'll die cut out a couple more and then I'll die cut out the shadow with white also. Um, while we're doing our die cutting, I'm going to bring in some rectangle dies. The ones that I'm going to be using are from Waffle Flower. And we are going to take the largest one here and take a white panel and I'm going to create a background or a home to put my bird and my greeting on. So I have a little bit of die cutting to do. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and die cut everything out and I did all five colors and then what I did was mixed and match them to create five birds, but each of the birds have a different body, have a different color wing, and then have a different color leg. I thought that would be fun. And then I did, I cut out our greeting, which I love because even the eyes, it was just one shot. One shot through the die cutting machine and you have one die that you can layer on the shadow. I love greetings like this and I don't have to worry about losing the dot on the eye either. <laughs> okay, let's start by layering our sentiment. I'm going to bring in my glue here and I'm just going to add some glue to two of the white wish bigs, stack them together. You can do as many or as little as you want. And I have a lot of shreds on my die cut and that means I need to change my plates out. If you guys ever get um, die cut an image and you get a lot of the, the thin pieces around it, that means we need to replace our plates on our die cutting machine. Mine are very well loved. <laughs> Loving this. Okay, that is done. Now what we're going to do is create our birds. Um, we'll start with one and I do what I, I thought it would be neat to, let me zoom in to add a little bit of something to the body of our bird. And I'm gonna be using the Gina K Art Stencil. And I love that there is circles on here. There's the positive and negative of the circles. But I'm gonna be using these little polka dots and maybe the stripes, we'll see. But I'm gonna add some polka dots to the breast of our bird. We'll just tack this down. I am going to bring in some post-it note tape. I have the Scotch two inch roll and we will tape off this section. And then I'm going to bring in some inks. I want to bring in inks that coordinate with the colors of cardstock that I use. I have the Simon Says Stamp Mini Ink Cube set. This is the Pink Fresh Studio um, case. And I have to say it's really, really nice. The inside has that velvet feeling, but it holds Mini Ink Cubes beautifully. And I think I'm gonna use 
the sweets. We will use the pucker. How about sunbeam? And then I think I'm going to use surf and perfection. And I think that will work out beautifully. So we have all of these colors and then we can do a little blending. I'm going to be using my Spellbinders brushes. These come in packages of three, three different sizes. These are the other two sizes. And I thought we would use the middle size to add some polka dots to the, our bird here. And I'm just going to use the coordinating colors. So I will add a little bit of ink and we'll just add some color to each one of these birds. Probably zoom in a little bit here. Okay, and our pink bird is good to go. We have some fun polka dots. I'll put this off to the side. We'll work on our next bird. I'm going to use my chamois to wipe off the ink here. We'll add our orange. Okay. Oh, that one turned out pretty neat. I'm loving the way that looks. That goes with those. And I'm going to continue with the rest of the colors with the polka dots. I'm loving the polka dots on here. Now to put the birds together, it's very easy. Let me wipe this off here. We'll put away our inks to create the birds. What you do is you add, let me grab my glue. You add a little glue at the base. You add, just add the body of the bird. Let that adhere. You can kind of shimmy it so it fits behind the back here. And then I'm going to add the wing, but for the wing, I want to pop it up with a foam square. So I'll just use one foam square. We'll place it directly on the bird. And then we will line up this tail with the tail that's on the bird. And then that bird's good to go. Now the eye, what you can do is put a piece of black cardstock behind it, or you could put a black foam square. And I'm going to put a black foam square behind the eyes. Okay, and if you want to use your anti-static powder tool to remove the tackiness from the eye, you can. But I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Now we're just going to repeat this. Add a little glue. And we created five birds in no time. I think they're so cute. This would be really cute on a slimline card too. Okay, we are going to go ahead and take our background panel. And I do want to add some stripes. So that's where our stencil will come in. I'm going to bring in... I'm going to bring in my waffle flower grit mat. And then we will add our panel. 
and I want to add just some stripes to this bottom corner and I'm going to use my Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and a blending brush to do that. Maybe we should tack down the side. Just because I don't trust myself getting ink anywhere else. <laughs> so let's go ahead and add some stripes. Wonderful. And I think I want to put maybe some stripes up here too. Let's add some sh shorter stripes up here. this. Okay, we have foam tape behind all of our birds now and what I want to do is kind of stack them. You know these kind of remind me of um, the Partridge family. Remember the birds on the Partridge family? I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of those. I went ahead and placed my wish big. Kind of did a flip-flop between this bird and the wish big. Um, and then what we're going to do is add some stars. Because I think stars and birthday cards go good together. These are from Buttons Galore. And they're called Crystal Stars. We'll just add a few here and there. Okay, and I went ahead and as I was adding my stars, I had two colors really close together, so I switched these two birds out. We just flip-flopped their places. But that will finish off my card today. Um, I hope you get a chance to check out the Simon Says Stamp December release. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous rest of your day, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.